Okay, this is my video on addictive behaviours. Um, it's my first topic one. I'm going to try and get another one done tonight, but if I don't, I apologise. Um, okay, to start with addictive behaviours. It is a compulsive behaviour that is rooted in the need to avoid tension caused by inner feelings that a person wants to avoid or control. This behaviour can be repetitive or religiously done. So, rewind. I'm going to explain that in a much more digestible manner. Um, okay, so it's compulsive. So, addictive behaviour is something you feel the need to do. Um, and they are linked with the need and want to reduce a negative feeling such as tension, anxiety, stress, um, anything like that or a certain situation and that feeling or situation is something that you want to avoid or control. I think that makes sense. So for example, um, some of these behaviours could be sex, food, uh, exercising, spending a lot of money, gambling, uh, nicotine, washing, that's kind of touching on OCD a bit, but washing and cleaning, caffeine, alcohol, some drugs but that's kind of linking to substance use and abuse which i'll do another video on nail biting um being addicted to adrenaline being an adrenaline junkie um uh that kind of thing uh but the key point of the activity is not connected to the purpose it appears to be directed to. Okay, I'm going to explain that as well. Um, so, it's not connect the actual activity you're doing, which could be eating, watching TV, gambling, is not connected to the purpose. So, for example, Someone who is afraid of bonding with a partner or someone they live with may watch TV instead. There's nothing to do with TV in the um, thing that they're trying to avoid. Um, another example could be um, a person who's been heartbroken or is afraid of losing someone eats a lot of ice cream. Um, so like it's an emotional thing but they're turning into a physical thing. That is kind of a bit like self-harm but I'm not going to talk about that now. I have to stop myself because I will start talking about that kind of thing but I'm not. I'm saying that for my other video. Um, so it's turning something emotional, the feeling of loss, heartbreak, sadness and all that and turning it into something physical eating a lot of ice cream um, the addiction is either physical, mental or social and even though you can be addicted to nearly everything it will change with the person and their lifestyle and their personality so not everyone's going to be addicted to gambling, not everyone's going to be addicted to sex, not everyone's going to be addicted to uh, food or adrenaline. I would never be addicted to adrenaline, I don't think so anyway, because I'm terrified of everything. <laughs> so I get enough adrenaline just walking out my bedroom door. Um, the reason why some people get addicted to some particular behaviours or activities is because they 
because these activities release endorphins and endorphins give you a natural high um, um, this is what separates addictive behaviour from substance use because through substance use you're getting a non-natural high and through addictive behaviour you're getting a natural high um, I'll talk about substance use in a different video as I think I've probably already mentioned which I'll probably do in a minute after I've done this one um, so they're not actually getting addicted to the behaviour they're getting addicted to the natural high they get from the endorphins which they get from the behaviour yeah that makes sense I think so you get addicted to the endorphins um, however this behaviour may have negative influences on a person's health and social interaction um, external um, things that it may harm is loss of employment, breakdown of relationships um, but all the external factors such as losing your job, um, losing friendships, isolating yourself um, can have internal harmful consequences like withdrawing, becoming detached, um, getting depressed, having high levels of anxiety blah. Um, you could be quite numb and lacking concentration um, but equally that can have an impact on the external factors such as if you're withdrawing and you're not being able to concentrate you won't be able to complete the work that you may have to do for a job which is an external factor and then that losing the job may make you depressed and it's just a bit of a weird cycle um, however you do get withdrawal symptoms similar to like if you're addicted to a drug um, for example paranoia anxiety feeling lost lack of concentration depending on how addicted you become you may suffer from cold sweats socialization insomnia and so on you're just you won't be able to function as easily and because you're not avoiding sorry that feeling you're having to deal with that feeling and that's a new thing that you have to deal with which can be quite scary um, but a lot to do with addictive behaviours is self-control and by using self-control you're able to um, how do you say it um, balance out all the aspects of your life so um, I'm going to use an example of gambling um, okay someone uses gambling as an easier way okay I'm going to make it a social gambling sorry this is really bad um, someone may for example gamble at a betting shop or online to make new friends because that's easier to make friends where you all have something in common than trying to make friends in a new workplace where you don't know who you have anything in common with um, so you would go to that place to make new friends instead of teaching yourself how to interact with people and make new friends and balancing out um, things to say like positive and negative things because you don't want to come over too negative or too positive because they're both a bit weird if you are 
I'm not being mean, but it's a bit scary. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's used as a short way through something else, through something you don't really want to do, and therefore you become addicted because you're using it to socialise. Um, that's what I mean by the addiction can be either physical, mental or social. Um, but with self-control you can learn to balance it. So you say, yeah I'm going to go gambling and I'll make a few friends there. But also at work I'm going to try and make friends on my own. I, I don't need gambling for that. I can just make friends. Um, I'll be myself. I'll talk to people. I'll be nice. Maybe that might be a good thing. Um, I meet friends that way, and then when I go home, instead of watching TV when uh, my girlfriend wants to talk to me, um, I'm going to sit and I'm going to talk with her. So I don't um, watch too much TV um, and use that as an excuse not to talk to someone. So. Just to summarise really, I know it's a bit of a mind bug bobbler, um, my brain's pretty fried as well, but addictive behaviours are actions you do um, in a physical, mental, social interest um, and you become addicted to something that you use to avoid bad situations or bad feelings that you don't want to have and you eventually become addicted to it because it gives you a natural high um, but you can overcome that with so um, self-control being able to say I don't need that much of that I, I don't need um, to eat that much ice cream when I'm depressed I, I don't need to have that much I'll just have a bowl. I won't have a whole tub. I'll just have a bowl. And then a glass of wine. And maybe some chocolate or something else. That's not a very good example. Um, I'll just have a bowl of ice cream and I'll watch TV. And then I'll have a bath. Um, and then go to bed. So you're balancing out things. You're not just becoming solely dependent on one thing to solve your problems. Um, which I'm going to link to. Is like self harm, uh, kind of for some people, but I'll make that video shortly, hopefully. But anyway, that's kind of addictive behaviours. I'm sorry it's so confusing. I'm not the best person for kind of explaining things that are a bit of a mind bubbler. But I hope you kind of got something out of that. And I'm really sorry it was kind of rubbish, but sorry. Okay, take care. I'm about to do uh, substance use. See you.